Hi, this is Patricia with Raising a Self-Reliant Child. Today I'm going to share with you some really nice websites that I found that are offer completely free computer programming learning. It could be any computer languages or um, just coding with scripting languages. So here we go. The first site that I found is codecademy.com. They offer a learning to code interactively for free completely. So you have to create an account and then you start following the lessons. My son actually has started an account here. He started learning Ruby by on Real Rails and it's and it's been really straightforward and simple to follow along. So this site is already has been used by us and we do recommend it. The next one that we that I found is called is called Learn Code the Hard Way. This is a very counterintuitive name, but hopefully it won't be so hard. They have different languages, Python, Ruby, C, SQL, and Regex. And I haven't tried it, but it seems like they have pretty complete resources in here. The next one is udacity.com. And they have a lot of different technology resources here. And they are not for very young children. I would say high schoolers and above. But in, and not all of them are free but there are some free resources that you can begin with. The next one is MIT, the website MIT Edu. They have some resources that have, they've posted for free, not just for computer science, but here for this particular video, I'm just focusing on the computer programming stuff, so it's right here. And again, these are all college level courses being that sites MIT, but um, I'm sure that if you have an advanced high schooler, he or she could benefit from this as well. Next up is the new Boston.org. This site seems pretty non-complicated. It's just very simple and they have a lot of different tutorials here, including web design tutorials. So. This could be very suitable for a young child, as children as young as middle schoolers. I would say even 10, 10 to 11 years old, they could start working with web design, HTML and CSS. Speaking of HTML and CSS, that's the next website here, and it's shehowie.com. And they have uh, the lessons all built for you, and again, since it's HTML and CSS, I think that it would be not all that hard for an advanced 11 or 12 year old to, to start coding and learning this type of, of scripting languages. The next one is htmldog.com. Again, this is the same it's for, for, for web design. They have HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, which is used so much for any static web design or static web website building. Next up is Google Developers. This, on the other hand, my personal opinion is that it's not that um, oriented for young children. This is definitely more advanced. So I'm thinking at least a good high, advanced high schooler or even college student. But again, it is Google, so it's got to be good. Next up is webit.net. They, they say learn to code from the ground up. I really like this website. They have really cute graphics and they look like cartoons. So I'm thinking this could be enticing for children, even you know, young children, even though the, the, the actual classes it says, for example, this one, Introduction to Object-Oriented Programming. This is actually a college-level class. I, I took this class when I, when I was in college, so, you know. But, again, 
it, it wouldn't hurt to try if the child is motivated to learn. If that's something he or she wants to learn. I think there was, this would be enticing. The next one is freetechbooks.com. This website actually offers free availability of text, uh, technical textbooks. So if that's something you're in the need, need of, then this might help. I'm not particularly fond of textbooks, but, uh, but I do understand that we need to use them for some topics. And computer science, computer programming is, is, is one of those topics, I think. Last is Ruby on Rails tutorial. A gentleman by the name of Michael Hart, I guess, has put this together. And he's offering free instruction on his website. And I'm assuming that the ebooks that he's selling in different formats like Kindle and iPad ebooks and things and PDFs and things like that, I'm assuming it's the same content, but obviously in different formats. So those are sold separately, but the free content is, is the website that you can just get your instruction right here. All right, so. That wraps up my roundup for free learning resources for computer programming and computer coding. I hope that they come in handy for any of you out there looking for these resources at the moment. And if you have anything that you might want to add to this list, any other website that you think should be included here, please do let me know. Write a comment down here below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I want to continue to bring really good free or, or sound resources for us homeschoolers to make our journey more fun and more enriching. So thank you for watching and see you next time.